Glad you made it back, everybody. When it comes to being anti-racist, socialist Democrats, well, they're all talk. My next guest is being excluded from the Congressional Black Caucus. Joining me now to weigh in on this and discuss it is Florida Congressman Byron Donalds. Congressman, it's always great to see you. And before we get to all the nitty-gritty on that, I just had to get your reaction to the comic relief that led off the show today, Mr. Biden, and what he had to say. Uh, a lot of it was incredibly funny. What did you think? I mean, Chris, I, I just have no words. You know, I didn't realize that Saturday Night Live actually went to the White House. Uh, it was one of the most comical <laughs> things I've seen. See, Chris, you laughing now even as I said it. I saw, I know it was funny. Uh, and America saw it. And look, the sad <laughs> part is, is that the president of the United States is very difficult for him to get through press conferences and actually be focused on the material that he's talking about. It just doesn't look good for the country. I mean, look, calling the, the, the ATF, the AFT, even I almost did it. It was so comical. Um, you know, my hope <laughs> is, frankly, is that the president's advisors uh, and the president himself get their act together because the world is always watching. Vladimir Putin is watching. Xi Jinping is watching. And uh, we, need, we have work to do on the world stage, and we can't have these kind of sideshows happening in the White House, it seems like, on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not, not a good look for the country at all. Well, that's all the other side of the aisle does. is nothing but sideshows. Let me give you an example. Uh, apparently, your skin isn't black enough for the Congressional Black Caucus. Or, or could it be members of the Congressional Black Caucus want to define what black is? They want black to be synonymous with left-wing anti-Americanism. What are your thoughts? Uh, I think it's a lot more of the latter. Look, we have a real situation in politics today, and it's a bad situation. And it goes like this. If you are African American, if you are Hispanic, uh, you are supposed to believe and think a certain way politically. And if you don't, then you somehow are less than, you're marginalized, your viewpoints don't matter, um, you're not welcome, and so on and so forth. And it's a bad thing for our country. It's a terrible thing for our politics. Uh, so, you know, the business between me and the CBC, we'll figure that out um, as the next weeks and months roll on. But it's important for Americans of all stripes to understand that we are the land of the free, the home of the grave, the brave, excuse me. Oops, I'm listening to Joe Biden. And what you need to really do is just make sure that you have your political ideas. They're allowed to communicate them at all times. You shouldn't be afraid of sharing them. Okay, last thing. I've only got about 60 seconds. I, I want you to, for, for you to answer. I'm the executive director of the Conservative Hispanic Society, but our group has brown, black, white, Asian members of all descriptions, so long as they support traditional conservative Latino values. Any thought of you starting a group like this just to counter the divisiveness of the CBC? You know, it's something that um, has come up every now and again. People have talked about it. But this is really isn't about just starting groups for the sake of starting groups. It's making sure that we actually have a detailed, fundamental conversation about the public policy ideas that can help, whether it's black America, Hispanic America, white America, all America. And I think that if, whether it's the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, uh, the Congressional Black Caucus, uh, those are areas where those conversations should be had. And whether you're a Republican or you're a Democrat, you have an opportunity to have them in an environment where those conversations are welcome. Um, I'm not really big on all of the mega caucuses that are formed up here on Capitol Hill. There's like a hundred something of them. And, you know, I'm only, I can't be a member of them all. Uh, but I think it's important that whatever these groups are, that you have a robust conversation about all aspects of public policy, because that's actually how you get to the best policy that's going to help our country. Yep. Another one of the reasons to have disdain for Mr. Biden is he cut our conversation short. And I always like talking with you. Congressman Byron Donalds, we'll talk again. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.